One of the most interesting things to me is why people move to Las Vegas. The two most common answers I found is one, I needed a place to get a fresh start, or two, I was running from something. I have the talent to breathe and eat fire and uh, needed some money. I was the highest drinking woman of the skinhead movement. I worked for a crew called the Bruderswagen or the Order. I moved here approximately three years ago and I went to work at a show club as a bouncer here. Seems like always something went wrong when I was trying to do right. I moved to Las Vegas, uh, basically just chasing money and... You get like a taste of, of, of the game or like of, you know, just the money that's involved in the sex industry and strip clubs and all that stuff and it, it, can, it can be addictive. And so I'm out walking my dog, God spoke to me. And what God told me was, uh, you're supposed to start a church in Las Vegas. Here we are in the Hardison City, uh, the, the place where I believe that Jesus would go if he came to America. Because you look at Jesus' MO, he always went to the, the darkest places, the most sinful places, the most sinful people. And what's happened somehow in the last 2,000 years is that the places Jesus would go are the places that Christians now avoid. If God started a revival on the Las Vegas Strip, and the whole world would hear about it. There were friendly people my age, tattooed people, people with different color hair. It, it, was, it was like my crowd, but for some reason they were Jesus freaks. I'm just broken down in tears. I couldn't even talk. There's something dead here. It just tears people up because there's nothing in this town that's filling them. We want to bring um, the kind of life that Jesus came to bring to, to the Las Vegas Strip because it needs it. I told myself it's the best hour that uh, I spent in Vegas.